In this video, I will compare three of the newest GMRS radios available on the market today. Some people refer to these radios as cheap Chinese junk radios. But despite what some people continuously proclaim in the online forums about these radios, these radios work perfectly fine for millions of people. And unlike the real radios that some people keep telling us we need to buy, these radios do not cost hundreds of dollars. So I will compare these three new GMRS radios so that you can decide which radio may best fit your active GMRS lifestyle. Now, unlike many of those other YouTubers, I am not going to enumerate every single little feature of these radios because that would take forever and would be boring. So instead, I will compare only those features that are important to me and that I think will be important to normal people that use GMRS radios. So this video should be quick and efficient. Before me, I have three of the newer GMRS radios that are available on the market today. The new Bufwang UV5R GMRS flavored radio. This is not the old ham version. This is the new GMRS flavored UV5R. The new TID radio H8 GMRS radio and the new TalkPod A36 Plus GMRS radio. Now, when comparing radios, the first question that usually comes up is how many FARs does it tux? So allow me to address that right up front. All three of these radios and virtually every 5-watt GMRS walkie-talkie radio on the market today, all of them have pretty much the exact same FARs. How many FARs you will get will depend on what is between you and the other radio that you want to talk to. But the point is, none of these radios has significantly more FARs than the other. With good line of sight, I am able to get over 10 miles on all three of these radios, and at that distance, they all sound pretty much the same. That brings us to the next most important factor, and for many people, the most important factor, and that is how many monies does they cost? The Bufwang UV5R GMRS flavored radio costs less than $30. The TID Radio H8 costs $70. And the TalkPod A36 Plus costs between $50 and $60, depending on which color you choose. And you will find affiliate links in the information section below so that you may purchase any one of these radios, or all three. And for full disclosure, I paid for this UV5R with monies from my supporting viewers. Those are the viewers that clicked on the join button or the thanks button that you will find at the bottom of the video. And TID Radio and TalkPod sent me these two. Now, it is important to reiterate that all three of these GMRS radios are low-cost consumer type radios. And only an idiot would compare this type of a radio to a much more expensive ham radio or business radio that costs five or ten times more. So anytime you see some people comparing one of this type of radios, comparing a low-cost radio to a much more expensive type radio, when you see this online, be sure to remind them that they are an idiot. All three of these radios are 5-watt GMRS radios all can listen to two frequencies at the same time, all are repeater capable, all do split tones, and all can store multiple repeaters that use the same frequencies, but with different tones. If you use a lot of repeaters, you know what that means. If you do not use repeaters, don't worry about it. The UV5R GMRS flavored radio is FCC certified for use on GMRS, but it is not FCC certified to transmit on ham frequencies. However, some of these radios, like mine, are able to transmit on ham frequencies anyway, even though it is not certified to do so. But I have also seen many reports of people reporting that theirs only transmits on GMRS frequencies. The TID Radio H8, sometimes referred to as the HATE 
radio is certified for GMRS and ham, but you have to switch modes between GMRS or ham. You cannot do both at the same time. And the TalkPod is FCC certified for GMRS and ham out of the box, no mode switching or anything. Turn it on and you can transmit on either GMRS or ham, and it is certified by the FCC to do both. None of these walkie-talkies are the high-quality super heterodyne type radios. All three are the lower-cost SOC, or system-on-a-chip type radios, also known as homodyne. Homodyne radios. You may also know them as direct conversion type radios. The sensitivity or how well they can receive is pretty much the same or very close for all three. I am not able to tell any difference and I doubt that any normal human ear can. As you can see, the UV5R has a very small and very simple two-color screen, whilst the other two radios have color LCD screens, and they display much more information. This makes the UV5R way better and far superior for viewing in bright sunlight. Neither of the color screens are great in direct sunlight, but the TID radio is slightly better than the TalkPod, in my opinion. The TID radio, H8, comes with a 2500 milliamp hour battery. The TalkPod, A36+, Plus comes with a 1500 milliamp hour battery, and the Bufhuang UV5R comes with an 1800 milliamp hour battery. However, it has been my experience that the Bufhuang UV5R battery lasts much longer than either of the other two batteries, either because the Bufhuang UV5R is engineered to much higher standards than the other two, or maybe just because it's doing less and has a smaller, more efficient screen. The TID radio, and TalkPod are both chargeable via USB-C ports, whilst the UV5R requires a battery charging cradle to charge the battery. Another very important factor to consider when shopping for a radio is how cool does the radio make you look when you're using it. And as we all know, looks are subjective and everyone has an opinion. However, everyone else's opinion does not matter. I am about to tell you the correct opinion. The TalkPod clearly looks the best and comes in different colors. In order to look cool while using either the Bufwang UV5R or the TID radio, you will need to rely on belt clips and wrist straps. The Bufwang UV5R and the TID radio both feel very sturdy and tight, whilst the TalkPod is noticeably lighter and feels a bit more plasticky. The battery is a bit loose and it rattles a bit when you shake it around. The TalkPod feels more like a toy than the other two radios. And of course, the most important feature to look for in a radio, the Roger Beep. All three of these radios have a Roger Beep. However, only the Bufwang UV5R has a side tone for the Roger Beep. This means that you can hear the Roger Beep when using the Bufwang. However, on the other two radios, only the people listening to your transmission can enjoy the Roger Beep. The Bufwang UV5R has 128 programmable channels that you can use to store repeaters or receive only frequencies. The TID radio has 199 programmable channels. And the TalkPod claims to have 512 channels, but I can only load 256 channels on mine. What TalkPod claims is that, like the other two radios, because you can listen to two frequencies at the same time, you can store 256 frequencies for your A channel, and 256 channels for your B channel. However, you can only store 256 channels. Just because you can listen to 256 channels here or 256 channels there does not mean that you can store 512 different channels. So by TalkPod's retarded logic, these other two radios would also have twice as many of the same channels. However, even at only 256 channels, that is still more than either of the other two 
radios. All three of these are GMRS radios, but all of them also receive other frequencies that you can listen to. The Boofwang UV5R can receive from 136 to 174, my gigahertz, FM, and 400 to 512, my gigahertz, FM. The TID radio can receive from 130 to 174 my gigahertz FM and 400 to 520 my gigahertz FM. The TalkPod A36 Plus can receive from 138 to 180 my gigahertz AM and FM, 230 to 250 my gigahertz AM and FM, and 350 to 512 my gigahertz AM and FM. All three of the radios can be programmed directly on the keypad using the buttons, which is very difficult on all three. And all three can be programmed using the free Chirp software, meaning that you can program all three of these radios on your Windows, Mac, or Linux computing machines. But only the TID radio can also be programmed wirelessly using your phone, no computer, needed. For accessories and upgrades, all three feature the standard K1 type connector, and they all use the same programming cable, and they can all use pretty much the same external microphones or speakers, pretty much anything that has a K1 type connector. However, because the Boofwang UV5R form factor has been around for over 45 years, it has more cases and aftermarket battery options to choose from. So which of these three radios is the best radio to buy? My friend, only you can decide which of these three radios will best meet your GMRS lifestyle and which features are best for you.